This deck I'm about to show you guys is going to change the way we play Pendulums forever. I'm hyped, baby. I'm hyped for this video. Are you guys hyped? Engage is legal, baby. And there's no better deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! that synergizes better with Sky Striker Mobilize and Engage than Endymion. So I'm going to showcase you guys today Sky Striker Endymion, and it's a fucking blast to play. So if you guys love having fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh, this is the deck for you. It's just so fun to play this deck, especially when you open Engage or Hornet. And bro, we're not just playing those two, we're fucking playing Ray as well, baby. I'm with her, huh? So if you guys are ready for the video, I want you to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, stay tuned to the end of the video because it's going to be a good one. And before we get into this video, I want everyone to know that if you want to get better at Pendulums, there's only one place for that, and that is down below on Triff Gaming Coaching on the Patreon, baby. Sign up now, just offered a new 15% off on yearly members, and yearly members also get access to free, amazing perks, such as a free playmat on entry of the yearly membership, so go check it out right now. And I want to give a massive thank you to everyone who has purchased the beautiful Pendulum Edition playmat. I said it was going to be available in 48 hours, but it sold out in one day. With that being said, it's time to start the video, boys. Sky Striker and Deviant, I'm fucking hyped, let's fucking go. Panda attack, baby, let's go. Sky Striker and Demon, baby. I'm hyped to show you guys this video because the way it synergizes, it's just so beautiful. Just as beautiful and refreshing as a nice glass of orange juice. Delicious. Let's go, baby! First things first, with our hand, you're gonna notice here that we open Engage. And you know what? You're not always gonna draw Engage, and that's fine. You don't need Engage. The idea behind the Sky Striker engine is that you you play Engage, you play Hornet, you play Widow Anchor, and you play a fourth surprise Sky Striker card. And let's just see for yourselves. So you can see here, if we're going second, clearly use Widow Anchor on an issue that you're gonna deal with. Uh, you're not gonna, if you're facing Winda, another cool play is you just scale, you put up Doctor and Mighty Master scales, and then they're forced uh, they're forced uh, preemptively use Wind Up because they're scared of Mighty Master negating it, the Shizum, and then you just drop them with the Widow Anchor. And Widow Anchor has a lot of uses in this in this meta, so having access to Widow Anchor is very important, and going second, your Hornet could always set with Hayate, or instead of instead of Hornet, you could send Hayate get engaged, or our, here's our draw with Engage, by the way. Okay, into the void. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting something else, but it's coming though. It's coming! That's fucking right, baby. We went engage to search for fucking Ray. The fourth Sky Striker card we play is, is Ray. I'm with her. I'm with her. Let's fucking go. I understand Farfa's. Uh, no, I'm jo I will never understand Farfa's weird love for Ray and 2D Woman, but if 2D Woman is your thing, then that's your thing. Do what makes you guys happy. Anyways. Here, I'm gonna obviously have Ray. If I want to use Ray going second, this is very powerful because going second, you just go Hayate, and then the Hayate will always resolve without the waste two interruptions for both the Ray and Hayate. Then you get your Kagari to get the engage. So you kind of get engaged all the time. You have so many ways to get engaged. So going second, this makes us a lot stronger, and it's an Allure of Darkness target for what we're gonna use here. Clearly, engage, we resolve engage twice, where we're just going off here, and it's just so damn good. This is so damn powerful, and if these plays, I do want to mention here, a shameless plug, that if these plays are a little too much for you, and if it's a little too too fast, or if you guys aren't understanding it, I do highly recommend sign up on the Triff Gaming Patreon. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, especially for the yearly members. You get 15% off for your yearly membership, and upon entry of yearly membership, I will send you a free play mat for Patreon members only. So go check that out right now. But here, we're just going to do our classic plays here with Cross Sheep. We're gonna go into that. Boom, shakalaka, attend the gates. What's my opponent gonna do? I'm gonna have the Mighty Master pop the Widow Anchor. Uh, but yeah, going second, this is just fucking insane. Going first, this this is with the free Widow Anchor as well. So yeah, this is, it was blitzkrieging through boards going second. I have to sneeze. No, I'm too sick. Uh, I don't need to sneeze. Seven negates, we, we aren't, we're never sick. All right, so anyways, we end up with seven negates here. And you know what, that's it. Seven negates. And this is protected with Little Anchor the whole time. I'm going to show you guys another replay now of this uh, Sky Striker uh, and Demian combo. Replay number two here. We don't have Engage, but we do have Hornet. So I'm going to show you guys a cool, cool little play here. I don't start off with Hornet. 
I'm trying to draw into Abductor. I'm trying to draw into Servant. And this is a big mistake people do. If you want Hornet right away here, this is not the correct way to play Sky Striker and Demian. You need to wait with the Sky Striker. Let the Sky Striker cards fuel your Servant, Abductor, Mastery, Reflection. You play like nine of those cards. And because you're playing so many draw cards, you're always going to get it. So we end up drawing into the Servant. We draw into an Abductor as well. And here I'm going to go straight to Crowley. As you see, I'm in no rush to activate my Hornet. Thanks to Celine, you are in absolute no rush to get rid of the Hornet. You could do it at any time you want. No rush whatsoever. So here I'm going to go Crowley to search for Blue Boy and or Secrets Knowledge, whatever I get. I'm not going to serve it yet. I'm going to go straight into Kagari now. I get the Hornet back. I get Celine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Servant's Effect. And I'm going to chain Servant's Effect and bring a Hornet. And then I'm going to chain, bring a Selene effect. So I bring out an Abductor here. I don't use Selene yet. I bring out an Abductor uh, because if they do not Nibiru on the Servant, then clearly they do not have a Nibiru. I want to kind of bait that I'm bringing out with something with Servant. And if they don't Nibiru there, clearly they don't have a Nibiru because they know Jackal's coming. So I bring out an Abductor knowing that they're not going to have a Nibiru. So now you play Nibiru free. You know you're Droll free at this point. And th this hand actually was safe through Droll because of the Millennium Eyes. And... Uh, yeah, so here we, we're going to keep going and go souls. We're going to send. We're going to draw, keep adding. We end up drawing Ray here. We're going to allure away the Ray. So Ray is not dead. Even if you if you don't need even need to allure the Ray, you could pendulum summon the Ray going second. If, you, if you're already putting up a board, big, board of big negates, opening Ray is amazing because going second, this Ray is going to get you to engage and it's going to force one to two interruptions from your opponent. If they don't deal with that Ray right away, what are they going to do? Bounce it back to your hand? Sure, you just pendulum summon it back. And they can't deal with the Hayate, and they're not expecting a Pendulum deck to search, uh, engage. And you're just gonna, when you search engage in this deck, you're gonna draw every single time with it. So it's just more ways to engage. So you have three ways to engage, really. We go Sayuja here because we have fucking every single card in Yu Gi Oh! We put that back, we put the Ray back, uh, draw, or just keep summoning here, use Time Gazer, and that's really the, the world's your oyster in this scenario. You have like 10,000 negates. I didn't even <laughs> look at that's fucking insane like uh, another seven to gate board this is the second second seven to gate board we did just showcasing the power we didn't even use engage this time but going second we could have easily got it so that's the idea behind sky striker and demian if you guys like this style of deck let me know in the comments uh, and i would love to do some videos where i just do a bunch of duels with this deck uh with engage being limited this deck is fucking sick uh engage is really good in this deck and if you guys want to see duels with it let me know in a later video, I could do just like five duels of matches, five matches, playing everyone with, with Striker and Demian. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the deck list. Man, this deck's fucking so fun to play. Every time I was doing the replays, I was having a blast doing it. And I'm telling you guys to do the same. So this is the list. It's the normal and Demian list, but what you do is you take out Jackal to one. And you put you keep Mighty Master at three, but you put Jackal to one. You cut Blue Boy Secrets Knowledge, you cut each of them by one. And you cut Gesture to one. You do this and you free up enough space that you need. And the space that you'll need is you put in the Ray, you'll put in the Engage, you'll put in Hornet, and you'll put in Widow Anchor. Widow Anchor is so good going second. This Striker Engine is just so good going second. All four of them. Because if you were to open Servant Abductor Reflection or, or anything, or, or Mastery, and with all your draw power, this allows you to go into it. And even in scenarios where uh, going second, it's just so good, man. It's just so good. You have we've got Ray as well for get, searching the Engage. It's really cool. And I like the addition of the Ray. And you're only playing one uh, blue boy. Uh, because you're playing Artemis, you can very easily just secrets into the knowledge or Crowley into the knowledge and, and just normal the ray if you absolutely need to. You don't need to normal the blue boy at all times. It does not conflict. The only, like, if you open the ray, you just pendulum summon it and still go into Hayate. You don't need to normal summon it. So it's really cool. Uh, and this is the list here. So Servant, Triple Doctor, Reflection, Jackal, Triple Mighty Master, Triple Corona, Wong, Time Gazer. Triple Magician Souls, I know. You need to play Magician Souls if you're going to play this version. There is a different version where you could take out the three Magician Souls and the Jester Confit and all rest um, uh, Magician Restage cards. So that's eight cards you're going to have to remove. And what I would remove for those eight is I wouldn't add more Sky Striker cards. There's not enough good Sky Striker cards. I could add one Reinforcement of the Army to add more Spell Counters. So that's seven. And then I'd probably put in a Mini Pendulum Magician Engine if you don't want to play with Souls. This is the side deck. It's very, very powerful. Uh, and then this is actually like you need Kagari and Hayate. You need both of them. There's no Shizuku because the, you're playing Pendulums here. You don't have time for Shizuku, bro. That card is going to get linked off. And Sayusha is very important for Hornet as well. Typically, oh, hi, Teddy. Everyone say hi to my beautiful doggy. I love my. What's up, Teddy? Teddy, come. Come. 
What a good boy, man. What a good boy. You're the best boy, Pen Dog. Anyways. One Artemis, one Daybreaker. We cut up Mascarena and Underworld Goddess to make space for the, Kagar, the Sky Striker cards, and it's fine. You don't really need it. My Mascarena is only good for decks that play Zeus, and Dryden's fucking banned. So that deck's gone. Anyways, that's the video for you guys. I fucking love this deck. I'm telling you, you try this deck, just like play it card for card, and you're gonna have a blast playing it. Uh, anytime you open one of the three Sky Striker cards here, you're just gonna fucking love it, boys. So, yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Patreon down below. If you guys want to get coached by the Pen God, and we get 15% off for all yearly members. So, sign up on the yearly membership. And as I wanted to say in the beginning of the video, thank you all for the uh, Magician Playments. They sold out in literally one hour, one day, sorry, in one day, 24 hours. I thought they were going to be uh, open for 48 hours, but we sold out at every playmat in one day. So, next time you guys see any of these cool mats, I do recommend hop on it ASAP. They do sell out fast. Uh, I don't like having mats on my site uh, for a long time. Typically, they only stay for a few days and they're gone. So at the moment, uh, we'll release the next Beagle Playmat in maybe a month. Uh, but yeah, so until then, just enjoy Pendulums, enjoy the mats you already have, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!